welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new here, then hello and welcome. For today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for me. So I'm going to be reviewing the new Becca Light Waves Highlighting Palette. Now, I just received this yesterday and I know I just did a Becca Highlight Review video. So I didn't want to just review this palette even though I just got it. I wish I could have combined it into one video, but I got it the next day, so I wasn't able to. So I thought I would include a review also on the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighting Palette and kind of do like a comparison and to see which palette I think is more worth your money. Really quickly before we get started, my schedule is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That is when I post my videos. Also, we do have our huge holiday giveaway going on right now, so make sure you guys click the link down below so you guys can enter. It's massive, and I'm so excited that you guys are enjoying it as much as I hoped you would. Um, I also actually have another giveaway going on. We're full of giveaways over here at my channel. Um, if you guys want to enter that, you only have until Friday. So make sure you guys enter that. I will have that one linked down below as well. We have the Jaclyn Hill palette in there, Benefit products, Tarte. We have a bunch of great products in there. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And let's get this review started. <laughs> Here are the two palettes. So we have the Light Waves palette from Becca Cosmetics, and then we also have the Afterglow highlighting palette from Urban Decay. So I thought this would be really fun to do like a comparison and kind of battle of the highlights type of video. These do retail for the same price. They are each $34. With the Becca highlighter, you are only getting three highlights, and then with the Urban Decay, you are getting four. Okay, so here are what both of the palettes look like. So here's the Becca packaging, and here's the Urban Decay packaging. I really, really love both of these packages. This one's so fun and just like cool and different, and then this one I really like because it's just like classic and gold and beautiful. Okay, so really quickly, I just want to throw it out there that myself, Tanner, had a issues last night so my wrists are looking crazy so if that bugs you throughout the video I'm sorry but picking up the first palette this is the Becca Light Waves highlighting palette here's what it looks like so we have three different highlights in here so we have the very first one which is prismatic amethyst really really pretty I've never tried this highlight and then we also have the pink sapphire which is a new highlight to them this is limited edition to this set and then we also have a classic Becca highlight in Moonstone. So here are the three. The pan sizes are pretty decent. And then you have that really cute Becca packaging, very sturdy, very durable, and that nice mirror and the inside. So moving on to the Urban Decay palette, this one, go ahead and flip it up. The packaging is a little bit more flimsy. This is the cardboard packaging. We do have a mirror on the inside. Let me take the wrapper off. So we do have a mirror. It's a nice size little mirror. And then we have four different highlights in this one. So we have Wicked, which is like this pink um, highlight. And then we also have New Angel. We have ONS, which is a little bit darker. And then we have a highlight in Click. So we have four different highlights and these pan sizes look pretty large as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both of these palettes for you guys and show you what I think. On my face, I do have the Becca palette. So you guys can kind of see it's really pretty. Um, I did use a lot of Moonstone, which I already know I love because I already own that highlight. And I did use this one here, the Pink Sapphire, to kind of do more of a bronzer. I didn't apply any bronzer, so I use that kind of as my bronzer as more of a highlight. So you guys can kind of see how that looks. Um, I did mix these two as well together, so I kind of have all three on my cheeks. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch all three of these. Now, I will say with the formula, so first I'm going to go ahead and go into that amethyst. Sorry, what is it called? I cannot remember. It's called Prismic Amethyst. Okay. So that's what that one looks swatched. And then I'm next I'm going to swatch Pink Sapphire, which is their new limited edition to this highlighting kit. So there's what Pink Sapphire looks like. And then lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and swatch Moonstone, which is a classic highlight for Becca. And there's what Moonstone looks like. So there are all three of them swatched. Like I said, I do have all three on my face right now. The formula is really nice. I will say that the formula on these seems a little, little bit different 
Um, it's not bad by any means. I feel like they applied really, really nicely and very beautiful and they melt in the skin just like Becca's highlights always do. Um, I do feel like they are packed down a little bit more in this than they typically are in your regular compacts. Let me show you guys what I mean here. So this is like your normal Becca highlighter. Do you see how like when you swatch it, like it's kind of like really buttery. And then when I swatch this one, which is the palette, it feels just a little bit more packed down and it still feels really, really buttery. It just feels a little bit more um, packed down than like their typical highlighters. I'm not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing because I do think that they really apply really nice. And I do think that $34 for this set is really nice to get three back highlighters for so um, cheap because I feel like this alone is $38. So getting three different highlights, even just getting Moonstone, because you really never go through an entire highlight, getting Moonstone and then two other ones for that price is really good. And I think that these shades are very, very beautiful, very pigmented as you can see. So let's go into the Urban Decay palette. I have not tried this one on my face yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into this one and I'm gonna climb over top of this highlight and see kind of what they look like over top of the Becca highlights. I think the one that speaks to me the most is the No Angel one right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my brush into that. Got a decent amount on here and I'm gonna apply it over top and see kind of how it looks. It's definitely applying a lot more of a bang so this is like what the becca one looks like very natural which is what i like about becca's highlights they are very you know they kind of sink into your skin which i love so here is like the becca one and then here's with that one over top now do remember that i just layered this so that's why it's a little bit more blinding but it is pretty nice and then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go into wicked as well because i'm really curious what this one looks like and i'm gonna apply that one on the other side and see how that one applies That one's pretty too. So I do like layering my highlights. I do that typically quite often. Um, so it's not bothering me that I'm layering it on top of the other. You're obviously not seeing exactly what it looks like. So let's go ahead and swatch these colors. So the first one I'm gonna swatch is ONS. So this is the deeper highlight. We feel really, really buttery and really smooth. So I'm just gonna swatch this one first. Looks very pretty. So this is Click, which is the second highlight from the palette. That one looks really, really, really pretty. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go into Wicked, which is the pinker highlight from the quad and swatch that one. Oh, that one's so, so gorgeous. I really, really like that one. And then the last one is No Angel. And here's the swatch for No Angel. And that one looks nice as well. So these are swatching really, really well. I think that they applied over my highlight nicely. Okay, so these first three right here are the Becca, and then the remaining four are the Urban Decay ones. So you can tell that they look very, very nice, and there are some similar tones in here. How you can see, like, that pink is very close to the other pink. And I just don't think that you would necessarily need both of these palettes. And if I was choosing, I do think that they're both very beautiful. I do think you're getting a little bit more in the Urban Decay just because you're getting that extra highlight. Um, but if I was choosing, I would probably choose the Afterglow palette just because I already own Moonstone. And I don't know that Pink Sapphire would be something that I would reach for all the time. Although I do think it's pretty and it did apply nicely as like that bronzer type highlight. Um, I just don't know if I would reach for it all the time. This is super cute packaging though, and I do really like the packaging on this one. A little bit better than the packaging on this one, um, but we're not we're not in it for the packaging. So if I was to choose, I think I would choose Afterglow a little bit more than this Becca one. They're both still super, super pretty, and if you guys, you know the formula of Becca's highlights is gorgeous, but Urban Decay also has a really great formula of highlighters as well. So yeah, I, I think that I would choose this guy, but this guy is a great contender, and $34 is a really really great price for both of these palettes but the Becca in particular because their highlights are fairly expensive as well as the Urban Decay highlights are, expen are expensive when you buy them singly as well so both great options what the heck pick up both if you want to this one is exclusive to Becca Cosmetics 
UrbanDecay.com again. Um, and then this one you can pick up on UrbanDecay.com. I believe you can get it at Sephora and Ulta as well. So that's a little bit on each of the palettes. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this little comparison video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Which one would you choose? Would you go with Urban Decay or would you go with the Becca Highlight? I would love to know your opinion and I would love to hear more from you guys down in the comment section. So make sure you head down there and leave me a comment. Say hello. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you guys real soon. Bye everybody.